Nat Turner, 1800 November 11, 1831, was an African-American enslaved preacher who led one of the most significant slave rebellions in United States history. His uprising in Southampton County, Virginia, during August 1831 had profound effects on the attitudes toward slavery in the South and intensified the national debate over the institution. Early life, birth and family, Nat Turner was born into slavery on October 2, 1800 in Southampton County, Virginia. His mother was an enslaved woman named Nancy, and his father is believed to have escaped from slavery early in Turner's life. Intellect and Education Unusually intelligent and inquisitive, Turner learned to read and write at a young age. His literacy was rare among enslaved people, and allowed him access to religious texts and other literature. Religious Inclinations Deeply spiritual, Turner became a preacher among the enslaved community, he was known for his visions and believed he was chosen by God to lead his people out of bondage. Visions and Spiritual Calling Divine Revelations Turner reported experiencing visions that he interpreted as signs from God. These included celestial phenomena like solar eclipses and other atmospheric conditions, which he saw as messages to initiate an uprising. Role as a Prophet his reputation as a prophet grew within the enslaved community, and he used his influence to inspire others. The 1831 Rebellion Planning Turner began planning the rebellion months in advance, gathering trusted fellow enslaved people who shared his convictions. Outbreak On the night of August 21, 1831, Turner and his followers launched their attack, starting with his enslaver, Joseph Travis's household. They moved from plantation to plantation. Actions, over approximately 48 hours, the group killed an estimated 55 to 65 white people, including men, women, and children. They recruited more followers as they progressed, with the group swelling to about 70 individuals. Suppression. The rebellion was suppressed by local militias and federal troops. Many of Turner's followers were killed or captured during clashes, capture and execution. Hiding. Turner evaded capture for about two months, hiding in the woods near his home. Arrest. He was discovered on October 30, 1831, and taken into custody. Trial. Turner was tried on November 5, 1831. He was convicted of conspiring to rebel and making insurrection. Execution. On November 11, 1831, Turner was hanged in Jerusalem, now Cortland, Virginia. His body was reportedly dissected and flayed, with parts distributed as macabre souvenirs, a common practice intended to deter others. The Confessions of Nat Turner Documentation While in jail, Turner was interviewed by attorney Thomas R. Gray. These interviews were published as The Confessions of Nat Turner, providing a first-hand account of his motivations and the rebellion. Controversy The accuracy of Gray's account has been debated by historians, with questions about potential biases and alterations, aftermath and impact. Retaliation in the wake of the rebellion, widespread panic led to the killing of an estimated 100 to 200 African Americans by militias and mobs, many of whom had no involvement in the uprising. Legal repercussions. Southern states enacted stricter laws controlling both enslaved and free African Americans. Education. It became illegal to teach enslaved people to read and write. Movement. Restrictions were placed on assembly and travel without white supervision. Religion, African American worship services were closely monitored. Shift in attitudes. The rebellion hardened pro-slavery attitudes among Southern whites who saw the need for more stringent control. Conversely, it fueled abolitionist sentiments in the North. Legacy symbol of resistance. Nat Turner became a symbol of the struggle against the oppressive system of slavery. Historical interpretations. His actions have been variously interpreted as those of a freedom fighter or as inciting unnecessary violence. The morality and impact of the rebellion continue to be subjects of scholarly debate. Cultural depictions. Literature. William Styron's 1967 novel, The Confessions of Nat Turner won the Pulitzer Prize but was controversial for its portrayal of Turner. Film. The 2016 movie The Birth of a Nation, directed by Nate Parker, dramatizes Turner's life and the rebellion. Influence on civil rights. Turner's rebellion is often referenced in discussions about civil rights and the lengths to which oppressed people may go to seek freedom. Significance, highlighting injustice. The rebellion underscored the inherent violence and moral contradictions of slavery. Inspiration for abolitionists. It provided a rallying point for abolitionists who used it to argue against the institution of slavery. Educational focus. 
modern historical analysis tends to place the rebellion within the broader context of systemic oppression and resistance. Conclusion Nat Turner's rebellion remains one of the most significant acts of resistance against slavery in American history. It exemplifies the extreme measures taken by those subjected to the brutalities of slavery, and continues to be a powerful symbol in the ongoing struggle for racial justice and equality. Please share, like, and subscribe, Oran Z.